Hi, I'm Joel Drevlo, Certified Trainer with MaxQDA. In this video, we're going to be talking about working with focus group data. Let's jump in. When working with focus group transcripts, two important conditions must be fulfilled. Each individual contribution must begin with a new paragraph, and the name of the person must appear at the beginning of each paragraph, followed by a colon. With our formatting setup, we can import focus group transcripts into our project via the import ribbon. The window that opens allows us to assign code colors for the individual speakers and to merge the contributions of speaking persons. This is helpful if there has been a spelling mistake in the name of a speaking person. The focus group transcript is now added to the list of documents. Each person gets their own section of the transcript. At the same time, the codes for the corresponding persons are created in the list of codes. The individual speech contributions of the persons in the transcript are marked with these codes. If we activate the focus group in the document system and then activate one of the codes created for the speaking persons of the focus group, all the speaking contributions of the person from the focus group are displayed in the retrieved segments window. Once we have coded the transcript, the classification of the focus group transcript according to different persons opens up the possibility for us to look at the statements of a certain person on a certain topic. To do this, we first activate the corresponding person from our focus group and then the code that interests us. The retrieve segments window then shows all the sections in which the person speaking has commented on the respective coded topic. By right-clicking on the focus group, we can call up the overview of the focus group speakers. This overview shows how many speaking contributions each person has, what percentage of the total speaking contributions these take up, how many characters these contributions comprise, and what the percentage share of these characters is. With this button, we can also switch to the data editor for speaking variables. Here we can define new variables that are assigned to the speaking persons. For example, we can record the age of the interviewed persons. If we now switch back to the view for the data editor, we can edit the age of the participants of our focus group. We can take a closer look at the share of speech of different persons with the document portrait. We have already assigned different colors to the different persons during the import, and these colors now help us here. First, we activate the codes for the speaking persons. We can display the document portrait by right-clicking on the focus group transcript. The different contributions are now displayed either in chronological order or sorted by frequency. The respective colors in the document portrait represent a specific person. With the help of the code line, we can also take a closer look at the course of the conversation. To do this, we activate the codes of all the people we want to look at more closely. Right-click on the transcript again and select code line. In the code line, each person is assigned a line and the colored blocks show where each person contributed to the conversation. We also have the option of displaying a code matrix browser for the people speaking from our focus group. To do this, we first click on the visual tools ribbon, select the code matrix browser, and simply select the focus group speakers option as the column here. The code matrix browser will then display how often each person's contributions were coded. In this way, we can easily monitor which participant of our focus group has spoken frequently about a certain topic. 